Welcome to True Talks. In my previous videos, I've been talking a lot about how the market is going to go down, the stocks are going to go down, and we need to find alternate investments to increase our wealth. Now it's time to walk the talk and tell you about my personal holdings. So let's get started. Okay, first of all, let me tell you the composition. 60% uh, of my portfolio is in crypto right now, and I'll tell you more about what in crypto later on. 20% is in stocks. I have a couple of airline stocks here, Canada, Delta Airlines. And the rest, 20%, uh, I'm shorting the market. Um, so essentially, I bought short ETFs, so which go up when the market goes down. So, okay, let me first tell you more about the crypto. 40% of my portfolio is in Bitcoin. Now, Bitcoin is the most, relatively most stable and secure of all the cryptocurrencies. And it it basically leads the market. It's the biggest player by far, has the biggest market cap. So it's essentially a blue chip crypto coin. It's the oldest. And I feel that it's gonna go up pretty significantly from now on. So if the news cycle is positive, more people are gonna invest in crypto and make the price go up. Things, uh, things are positive. Bitcoin is amongst the positively affected and everything else gets affected by Bitcoin. The, uh, so Bitcoin is about 40% of my holdings. The second largest holdings for me is Chainlink. Uh, now, now I believe anything that increases security in the crypto universe is going to do well in the future because of everything going electronic nowadays uh, with a lot of cyber attacks happening. Anything which increases security and allows uh, security in cryptocurrency basically in the smart contracts has a very good business use and will go ahead in the future. And my third largest holding is Ethereum essentially. So uh, the crypto universe has two major uh, types of crypto, like two major sects. It's either Bitcoin or Ethereum. So most tokens are either Bitcoin based, like Bitcoin Cash, uh, would, Litecoin would be Bitcoin based and Ethereum tokens. Chainlink is an Ethereum token, Ethereum Cash and whatnot. So having a bit of both is good to balance your portfolio because when Bitcoin goes up, almost all the time, the correlation, the price correlation between Bitcoin and its Bitcoin tokens is very, very high. It's, it's above 95%. And the same goes for Ethereum. When Ethereum goes up or the news cycle is positive about Ethereum, the Ethereum tokens go up. So I, these are my top three holdings in crypto. Now let's uh, get to the short ETFs, uh, which I was talking about. Now the short, the way the short ETFs work is um, there's magnitudes. So my biggest holding is SPXS, which is the S&P Bear uh, short ETF, and it it is a three x exposure. So if the if say if the market if the S&P 500 goes down by one, it'll give me a return of three. So it's a three times exposure. You can you can get short ETFs with one x exposure, two x exposure, and you can short anything you basically like. So and my second biggest holding is I'm shorting the uh, Russell uh, Pro uh, Index. It's a uh, it's it's the index of the small and mid cap stocks. So I believe in the in the financial crisis right now, those are the, the, the smaller companies are the ones which are gonna you know, get the most affected. So that is my second largest holdings. I'm also uh, shorting the Canadian market, the TX, TSX. I'm also shorting the mid cap, uh, the mid cap sector, the small cap sector. Uh, so yeah, I'm very hopeful about, uh, about my East short ETFs. Uh, to be honest, until now, I have faced a small loss, but I feel that in the future this will pay off and this will this is a very very good hedge for my investments i also have uh, some small gold etfs and that's a 3x x 3x bull gold etf i believe gold is going to go up and i also mentioned that in my previous video so uh, i have a gold 3x gold etf price of gold goes by one it increases by three times so that's basically it's very simple uh my third uh, yes i am invested in a couple of stocks and that was from before and that's essentially in airline stocks i have uh, air canada which is the largest airline in canada and delta airlines which is one of the most profitable or 
the airline with the best balance sheet in the US market. Uh, most airlines have adapted to the new uh, pandemic situation with most of them converting a lot of their fleet to cargo, just plain cargo, and they are making a small profit there. So they have finally optimized their routes and the capacity and everything. So I believe they will, uh, the bottom has been hit and they will continue to do better. But I'm not, I'm not 100% positive on that. That's why I have a very small holding in the stocks. So this was my holding, very broad based holding of what I am doing right now. Uh, so what, what do you guys think? Uh, do you think uh, these holdings are good, uh, are good in this scenario or what would you hold? Again, I always say the best way to uh, beat the pandemic and uh, increase your wealth in the recession is smashing that like button, obviously. <laughs> so guys, this was it. Uh, please like, share and subscribe. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you soon in the next video.